Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back. My name is John. Today I'm going to give you a very quick overview for the instrument panel of the Triumph Trident 660 base model. Let's get on with it. Let's just switch on the bike. Okay, so the screen will turn on exactly where you left it when you switched off the bike. Okay, so in general, I think it's a fantastic screen. It has loads of information, more than you would ever need, enough to even distract you, to be honest. It complements the bike really nicely, and I just think it was a fantastic job by Trident because I have seen huge screens, um, sort of like galactic-like screens, and I think this one looks really nice. Uh, so here on this menu here you have your fuel stables, you have your constant uh, fuel consumption, you have your how many kilometers or miles you have left in your tank uh, and of course your average fuel consumption. Next menu you're going to have your trips, you're going to have your trip 1 and trip 2. Uh, you will also have your average speed and how long you have been riding your bike until you reset this trip. Next menu uh, you have your screen brightness. This is great to adjust the screen for night riding or for day riding. Of course, at night you will want to bring the, the screen lower. Uh, you would like to dim the screen and at day you will probably like to have it a little bit brighter. This menu here is a service interval. will tell you when you have to go and service your motorcycle or on the date or on how many kilometers are left, whichever comes first. This bike has 79 kilometers on it, so it's actually brand new. Okay, and this is the water temperature. And here we have where, uh, the main menu where we configure uh, everything uh, that, that the bike has. So to confirm the selection, you press this button here and let's go into it. So you have your riding modes first. You can choose between rain mode, road mode, and of course you can reset everything to defaults just by pressing on this button here. On the rain, mo rain mode, you can select, uh, you actually can't select your ABS. ABS will always be on road. Uh, you, can re you can select your fuel mapping, the one that you prefer, or rain or road. You can select the traction control, once again, rain or road mode, or reset to defaults. Then on your road mode, you will have your ABS once again set to road. Mapping, you will be able to choose between rain and road. Traction control, once again, rain and road. And reset to defaults if you so desire. And next menu we have bike setup. Okay, indicators. It's actually quite a cool feature because these indicators are automatic or semi-automatic. So you can configure auto basic, which actually means that the, the blinkers or the indicators will go out after 65 uh, meters or eight seconds. On auto advanced, uh, the, if you push the blinker quickly, it will blink three times. If you keep it pressed for a little bit longer, it will have exactly the same function of, as the auto basic, uh, meaning it will go out after 65 meters or eight seconds, or otherwise you can just put it into manual, which works how all bikes used to work before they had all these electronic gadgets. Okay, so traction control. You can choose to enable or disable your traction control, and here you have your service. You can configure your service intervals, so they will be on your home screen. Trip setup. Uh, this is easy just to reset automatically or manual trip one or trip two. Uh, on automatic, you can have your computer, your onboard computer, reset your trips after one hour's riding, two hours, three hours, four hours, six hours, seven, uh, sorry, eight, 12, or 16 hours, depending on your wishes. You can do the same on trip two. Uh, trip two display will be enabled or disabled as I showed you on the home screen before. So you can also choose that. Next menu, display setup. This one's quite nice also. So you have the brightness here, as I showed you a while ago. Visible trays. You can choose what will be visible here in your instrument panel, which I think is also great. You can choose the, what gear you're in, service intervals, coolant, temperature, um, fuel status, trip one, trip two. It's quite a nice feature too. Gear shift indicator. Okay, this one's also cool. So right now the bike is in running in mode, which means that the um, uh, rev counter will start flashing when you reach 4,000 RPMs, and I'm going to show that to you now. Just put it in neutral. Okay, here we go. So you're going to see how this works now. Okay, so when the 
revs come up to 4,000, it's going to start flashing to indicate you have to change gear. Look. See? <laughs> I think that's actually quite neat. So, once again. Okay, here you go. So that would mean you'd have to change gear. Let me just get us back to that menu. Just a second. So we were at uh, display, gear shift indicator. Okay, we were here. So um, you can also configure that. Uh, you can have it to default, running in mode, or if you wish, you can also configure at which RPMs you would like your um, your rev counter to start flashing to tell you to change gear, nice feature. Or otherwise you can just disable it altogether. So right now we're gonna have it in running in mode. So this is actually my wife's motorcycle. She is running the bike in, so she knows when to change her gears. Okay, rider name. You can also configure the name uh, of the rider, which is Alexandra in our case, and it's it supposed to appear uh, on the startup screen, but in the case of this motorcycle, it doesn't appear. I don't know why, I'm just gonna have to try and find that out. Uh, next, you can choose the language. You can select the language. You have English, French, uh, German, Italian, Dutch, Portuguese, Spanish, and Swede. So you can select one of those languages to your liking. You can also configure the units you would like to see your, your stats in. So distance economy, you're gonna have your miles per gallon, US or UK. In Europe, you're gonna have your how many kilometers and liters. Uh, per 100 kilometers the bike has been consuming. Here you're going to have your temperature, once again it can be Celsius or Fahrenheit, and here you're going to have your pressure, PSI, bar or, or Pascals. Okay, so next you're going to have the clock. This is going to allow you to reset the clock or to set the clock, however, 12 hours, 24 hours, hours and minutes, that's what you can do in this menu. Date, you can also set the date. Uh, you can have different formats, uh, day, month, year, month, day, year, year, month, day, whichever you prefer. Um, here you're going to set the year, here you're going to set the month, and here you're going to set the day. Okay, and so that is all. I hope this video helps those that are possibly looking for some kind of configuration that they cannot find, or for those of the, you that are just curious to see what the instrument panel looks like on modern day bikes. So until next time, thanks for watching. My name is John.